Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see five more questions for practicing for CKA exam. So without further delay, let's get started. A team member joined your team. Create a new user, John, and provide access to list, create, delete, get pods in your project namespace. And CSR file is already there in CKA directory. So let's start with the solution for question 16. First of all, go to CKA and make sure that CSR file exists. It do exist. Now go to the documentation and search for CSR. So here we are creating a certificate signing request. So go to the documentation and search for CSR ML file. You can see here create a certificate signing request and the CSR file already exists. It's already there. So start with creating CSR. So copy this ML file first. To see, go back here. Your cluster. Then I'll put a manifest file here. Okay. So we'll come to this. But before that, let's go and see like what next we need. So if you notice, there is a request and some string uh, for that request. So here, what it is doing is it's getting the best 64 encoded value for CSR file content. So we have CSR file already. So now we need to get into best 64 encoded format. So let's copy this. Go back to your cluster. I'll save this ML file. Do cat on CSR. And you get this string what we need so copy this and then go to yaml file again and you can replace the string but easier way to just delete this line request okay well, just make sure that you change name of csr i'll make it john and there is no expiration specified so let me remove that rest you can keep it as is create csr so you can see the csr is created if you are watching this first right there is a playlist there are uh, three videos i already created that's the reason i'm using k but like k is a alias for kubectl so if you do kubectl this is one and the same thing i just want to Clarify if you are watching this as a first video in the series. Okay, so CSR is created and it's in pending status. So let's approve CSR. So K or kubectl certificate approve and CSR name. So you can see it is in approved condition. Okay, so CSR is created and it's in approved state. Now, so user is created with the name John. So now what we'll do is we will create role and then role binding. So let's create a role first. Let me make sure that we have a namespace. Cube take NS is there. Okay, good. So that should be it. So let's create role. Role name, you can just give some name. John role and then permission is verb it should be create list get delete just make sure you are covering everything and resources parse okay so role is created git role and you can see the role is created and if you are confused with the command right what you can do is create role hyphen h and you will get the syntax and even you will get the example so you can use one of these example so role binding role binding i'll just give name john role binding then role is john role and user john Okay, so you can see that role binding is created as well and you can just describe it just to make sure. John. You can see parts is a resource and the create list delete and get. So let's uh, 
describe role binding as well and this validation is very important so that if we make some typos you should be able to get it right away so you can see that user is john and then role is john role okay so this question is done as such but even you can go ahead and validate with this command can i for example get oh one thing we missed that role binding is not created these resources are not created in the namespace what we need and that's why validation is important so let me quickly delete everything on role then let me delete role binding and i'll keep this in my video so that it is a good uh, learning when we are practicing it okay so let me create create role with namespace name cube tech ns okay so role is created same thing i'll do create role binding role binding and here i'll specify namespace again okay great so role binding is created other validation you can do is let me just specify right away namespace then auth can i get pods as john if you validate this way right we would have got it uh, during validation that we didn't create it in proper namespace so that validation uh, becomes very important here let me let me validate i'm just doing it in exam you do not need to spend that much time on validation but at least basic validation you should do so if i do can i get pods as john it should say no because we given role or permissions only on cube tech namespace which is our project namespace okay i hope like you are clear on this uh, particular solution and that's it for this particular question let's move on to question 17 question 17 create a new service kubetex svc for kubetex pod and run dns lookup for service and write output to the certain file and use port 80 okay so first of all check whether pod exists yeah kubetex pod is there so now we want to expose this service or create uh, expose this pod or create a service so let me do that kubectl or k I am using k as alias for kubectl expose pod kubetech name of the service kubetech svc on port 80 target port is not needed because that is default 80 okay so service is created you can verify that okay service do exist and port 80 okay so this is good so far now next is we should do dns lookup for service and write output to ck svc lookup dot out so the one way of doing this is you can create a pod kubectl run pc box image is equal to pc box sleep for it zero zero there is a typo kubectl okay so this pod is created now do ns lookup inside busy box pod or busy box container so kubectl execute interactive into pc box ns lookup cube take cube take svc is a service name okay so you can see that you are able to ns lookup and put it into the file which is asked for cka svc lookup dot out verify this file perfect so that's it for this question let's move on to the next one question 18 create pod kubetech with image nj annex and get the logs from the container kubetech running inside pod kubetech and write output to kubetech.log okay so first of all let's check whether pod exists 
it doesn't so create one with q take image ngix okay so name of the pod is cube take and image is ngix that's good now just verify get pods yeah it exists so now like you want to check the logs for the containers so logs cube take the pod name and for container hyphen c and container name okay so let's write logs to the file which is suggested ck cube take dot log verify file again ck cube date log log and you can see logs are captured so this is the way you to see the logs for pod and for container if you don't specify hyphen c it will get the pod uh, get the logs from the pods if it is a single container pod if it is a multi container pod then you have to specify hyphen c okay that's it for this question let's move on to the next one question 19 check the existing label on the pod cube take and overwrite it to environment is equal to prod so first of all check whether pod exist it does then check label show label so for get pods command you can add show labels and you can see all the labels on the pod so you can see that environment is equal to dev already exist so if you want to label the pod you can use uh, kubectl label pod pod name and let me do e, uh, environment is equal to prod yeah so it reports the error because env already exists so what you can do is same command but just add override override and if you see it again show label you can see it the other way would be to get the yaml file from the pod using kubectl uh, get command hyphen o is equal to yaml and you can change label there and recreate the pod that is also fine you are achieving the same thing but if you do it through override that is what is expected from this and then it is easier to using imperative command that's it for this question let's move on to the next one question 20 troubleshoot why the pod cube take is failing and resolve the issue first of all let's see pod exist or not yeah we can see pod does exist but it's not in running state so let's first find out what's happening so we can try finding whether we find anything on the log but there is nothing so let's describe the pod describe pod cube take yeah so if you see events under events you will be able to find out some error which says it's failed failed to start container cube take error response from daemon failed to create task for container failed to create some some uh, error message and here you can see executable file not found and if you can see the command it's using is sleep right and you can see there is a typo here so there must be command specified for the pod and there is a typo in the command specified so let's look at that okay so describe pod cube take let's see what command exist yeah you can see the command is sleep and it should be the, the typo it is a typo there so you should correct it so you can just edit the pod clear it okay edit kubectl edit pod pod name even that this is like you should use edit command so that is quicker or otherwise you can create a yaml file and recreate the pod that is also fine so okay so yeah so it couldn't change it because this is not a editable editable uh, option for pod so what you should do is key you can replace replace hyphen f and give this give force 
great so let's see what's happening okay great so pod is in running state and there was a typo in the command specified so that's it for this question we learned something new today if so please like this video share leave your comment so that i know this content is helping you don't forget to subscribe and that's now okay see you again with yet another exciting tutorial keep learning keep sharing what you learn and thanks for watching